this is my mom's house. This is where I grew up, born and raised right here, 329. I really enjoy growing up here. I mean, it's home. It'll always be home to me. But it seemed like I wish it would prosper because I see other little towns that are prosper. I'm like, why can't Laurenburg grow like this? Why we can't grow? Why we can't get stuff here for people to do? How did it get like this? Because, I mean, it used to be so many jobs around here. And it's like all of them are going overseas. I never forget it was on a Thursday. I saw people in the parking lot talking. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Did somebody die or something? And then one of my coworkers that worked, worked, walked up to me, she said, you're already closing the plant. Everybody was just like shocked. Like, I can't believe this is happening. You're taking jobs from the United States to send it overseas for cheaper labor. What about us over here? I mean, we need to live. Vicki's hometown of Laurenburg sits in Scotland County, which has the highest unemployment in the state, a staggering 17%. She commutes 30 minutes every day to a job in a neighboring community. It's tough. I have my days when I just want to give up, but we have each other, we have family and friends, because that's what get us through the day most of the time. It'll be worth it in the long run. That's what I keep telling myself, it'll be worth it in the long run. Vicki is determined to come out of this recession stronger than she went in. As her youngest child prepares to graduate high school, Vicki has taken online classes in criminal justice so she can become a probation officer. Generations of Vicki's family have called this place home, but today it's endangered by American companies shipping jobs overseas, by unfair trade deals like NAFTA and CAFTA, and by countries like China that take jobs in American technology while selling us lead-tainted toys, toxic drywall, toothpaste, and even baby formula. I'm Cal Cunningham, and in the U.S. Senate, I'm gonna fight every day for North Carolina families and workers. We must take on China and those who close their markets to our products, like China did when they used swine flu as an excuse to bar North Carolina pork products, even though there was indisputable evidence that our pork was completely safe. The threat of tariffs, like we did with China's cheap tire imports, will get their attention. We also need to strengthen cybersecurity to prevent the theft of American technology secrets, toughen sanctions for intellectual property theft, and by exerting fiscal discipline and reducing the debt we owe China, we can curb their leverage over us and force them to trade fairly. Here at home, we also have to finally eliminate tax breaks for companies that ship our jobs overseas. Democrats have been talking about this for years, but it's time Congress actually got it done, along with offering tax credits for new manufacturing here in the U.S. And we have to renegotiate NAFTA and CAFTA to include much tougher environmental, safety, and labor standards, so we're competing on a level playing field. North Carolinians like Vicki know that there isn't one fix that will grow new American manufacturing. The problems we face are complex and they're interconnected. And because North Carolina is part of a globalized marketplace, we can't be isolationists. But it's not too much to expect that someone will get started. And it's not too much for Vicki to expect fairness and the best effort from those who represent her. You can read more about my plan to strengthen our economy and create North Carolina jobs by going to my website, calfornc.com. In the US Senate, I will never forget who sent me there and who I'm fighting for. Thank you. God bless the people of our great state.